Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering Diamond Patch. He made his first appearance in Infinity Wars, issue number three, that was released in November of 2018. His real name has only been revealed as Mr. Frost, and he also goes by the name Emma Rain and Crazy Claws. Being a mixture of the mutants Emma Frost and Wolverine, strongly leaning upon the old Patch incarnation of Wolverine. This combined being seems to have the stature of Wolverine, which would make him about five feet three inches tall and 195 pounds. That's assuming that his bones are diamond coated just as his claws are and not adamantium. He also having blonde hair and blue eyes, wearing a distinctive eye patch. Now Diamond Patch seems to have many of the abilities of his two constituent beings, at least having moderate superhuman strength, speed, and agility, as well as extremely enhanced senses, along with his trademark retractable claws. Although they're coated in diamond, just as I said earlier. And he's a savage fighter, in addition to likely having a healing factor, all courtesy of his Wolverine half. Now due to his Emma Frost half, he's a powerful Omega level telepath. Although it's been shown that he has to stab or slash someone to gain all the knowledge of their mind. Additionally, Emma lends him his extreme business and fashion savvy, being a bit of a diva. Now, just like all the other beings of Warp World, Diamond Patch originates from an occasion where Gamora used the Infinity Gems to fold the cosmos in half, which led to every soul in Earth 616 merging with another one. Diamond Patch's story begins with him addressing a conference, giving a motivational speech about how he had built his own business and how he tried to live by the motto, I'm the best at what I do and what I do is gorgeous. For him, this was a typical successful conference and afterwards he was greeted by a woman who offered to get him a drink in the lobby. As they briefly spoke and drank, she told him about how much he had inspired her and even asked to see his world renowned claws. At that point, Diamond Patch said that he didn't want to scare off the other patrons and that they should go to the roof. But once they got there, he revealed that he had recognized her as the shape-shifting villain, Death Streak, slashing her with his claws and giving her a 300 chest kick right off of the roof, all while insulting her cheap wardrobe. And just as he was doing this, his love, Phoenix, showed up congratulating him. From here, Diamond Patch went to see his men, who were holding a defector from the team of the villainous Dragon King named Firebelly. This captured criminal claimed that he was about to take the fall for Deathstreak's failed attempt and begged for Diamond Patch's protection. And after Diamond Patch slashed him and learned that he was telling the truth, he welcomed Firebelly to the team and then planned to retaliate against the Dragon King. Now, we later see the trickster Loki, who had somehow escaped the Universal Merger, he actually came to Warp World to try to undo what had been done, seeking out help at the X Mansion, where he was met by Doopool. Diamond Patch was initially skeptical of Loki claiming to have come to help, but after stabbing him and reading his mind, he confirmed that Loki was really telling the truth, but he still slammed the door in Loki's face. It was only after Diamond Patch had a drink, which he needed to clear his mind after being inside of Loki's head, that he invited Loki in and they went over what happened to the universe. During this talk, they happened to be interrupted by the soul-devouring cosmic entity named Devandra, which further verified the high strangeness that was going on. Nevertheless, the two of them put the creature down and continued their talk. Diamond Patch happened to remember a time where he stabbed a Watcher and learned that he was eventually going to one day merge with the Phoenix Force. And this fact prompted him to come up with a clever telepathic message to himself that he figured he could implant the next time he stabbed a Phoenix user. And just like clockwork, at that very moment, a Phoenix-empowered version of Wolverine appeared, stating that he had come back from the future and helping them by giving Loki the Power Stone and pulling Diamond Patch apart splitting him into the original Emma Frost and Wolverine. Diamond Patch wouldn't be recreated until the heroes used the Infinity Gems to reverse the process while at the same time preserving the beings of Warp World. Now, due to his powers and abilities and his influence on the Marvel Universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Diamond Patch a rating of 8, which is an unforgettable rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe to the new Sage.